So we're here back at Hollywood and Highland, and Janora is over at one of the newest attractions here on the Walk of Fame. Janora. Okay, Kendall, that attraction is Madame Tussauds, where you can experience life-like encounters with your favorite Hollywood icons, whether it's Beyonce, handsome Denzel back there, even Barack Obama. Speaking of Obama, we've got Lorencia Dandridge with a story introducing us to the man who keeps Michelle Obama looking so fabulous. We'll also find out what it's like firsthand to work in the White House. Take a look. First of all, you know that you go in there, you hear everything, you see everything, you just speak nothing. When it comes to beating faces, no one beats the faces of the famous better than Derek Rutledge. He's doing the first lady of talk and the country. I knew Derek before he blew up and I got blessed to have him touch my face at a very young age. And then one time he did my face like I was somewhere and he was like, girl, let me just, you know, fix that. And let me tell you something, I went from looking like a man to looking like America's next top model. From Patti LaBelle to Yolanda Adams. From Oprah Winfrey to Michelle Obama, Derek has painted the faces of some of the world's most admired women. He's part of that East Wing team, keeping the First Lady looking oh so fabulous. No pressure there, right? And I was scared because you, you're working with the most powerful person in the world. It made me nervous, but because she's got such a wonderful and warm spirit, she pulled me in and she treated me just like I was her brother for this DC native who grew up with dreams of performing in the opera. Things didn't work out because of the fact that my voice teacher told me that because of my weight I wouldn't make it as a, a opera singer. I started taking photography which led me to doing the makeup for my models um, which led me to BET. While at BET I met, met a lot of celebrities. I nurtured those relationships with those celebrities and then it led me to even bigger celebrities such as, you know, Oprah Winfrey and our First Lady. But growing up as an overweight child in the nation's capital didn't make Derek very popular. He painfully recalls being subjected to humiliation from bullies at school. I mean, I was 600 pounds. People talked about me, spit on me, and um, I still smiled and pursued and I never let it stop me, and from that, um, the doors have been opened up. I present the Global Award for Beauty Maestro to Mr. Derek Rutledge. And now doors continue to open for Derek, this time in Hollywood, when a few of his celebrity friends came out to support him for the launch of his cosmetic and beauty line called Ooh. I'm just so happy for his success. I knew it was coming. He is such an anointed person. I love Derek, and I'm just here to say I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of him. Today, Derek says he is about 100 pounds away from his ideal weight. He praises Michelle Obama's Let's Move fitness campaign for helping him to get closer to his goal and living his best life. I realized by working especially with the First Lady, I got a trainer I work out with every day, and um, with that, it's making me a much happier person. I've never been in a relationship, you know, so I, and that was because of the fact that I didn't like who Derek was. Now that I'm liking who Derek is, I'm open, more open to looking for that special person. For No More Down Low, this is Lorencia Dandridge. Thanks, Lorencia. Derek says he wants to go on a speaking tour at schools to show kids that the ultimate revenge against bullies is success. And Derek, congratulations, man, on your fitness program. You look really good. Keep up the good work. Definitely. Okay, now coming up, I will have a conversation with international spoken word artist Yasmin Monet Watkins and her bylaws of life. And later on, we take you to a meeting of the artistic mind. It's a movement here in Hollywood that focuses on raising the profile of black LGBT arts and artists. All right, we're here in Hollywood, and we.